Welcome back to the British Blokes YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Pace. I am a realtor here in Los Angeles and today I'm exploring Century City. Could you tell? Anybody guess? Century City is a very central community here in LA County. Um, there's a lot to offer living here in Century City. I know because I used to live in this area, so I've got plenty of places to show you old haunts that I used to hang out in, places to eat. Um, for example, Craft right behind me, great place to eat. Um, and uh, let's talk about the pros and cons of this area. So let's dive into the history of this place, shall we? Which is my favorite part about Century City. Um, these gorgeous buildings, where they came to be, how they came to be, because they're quite different from the rest of the neighborhoods in this area. In 1915, William Fox, a gentleman named William Fox, who was a Hungarian immigrant, came to Los Angeles and set up a camera rental studio because the film industry was starting to thrive in Los Angeles. So this is 1915, right? This is before sound was established even for fil the film industry. He bought land by 1924. He had 99 acres of land here in this area of Los Angeles. This became Fox Studios. By 1958, he has 260 acres of land and this becomes 20th Century Fox. Ever heard of it? Yep, that was this whole entire area. Fox Studios was established. It was cranking out Academy Award winning films. And I think they got a little ahead of themselves because they decided to make a, a little picture called Cleopatra. Cleopatra starred Elizabeth Taylor, Richard Burton, and Rex Harrison. And it was one of the biggest productions ever, ever made up until that point in 1958. Elizabeth Taylor notoriously made a million dollars. The first actor in history to make a million dollars was Elizabeth Taylor on that film. And if you've seen it, there's about a billion extras. By 1961, they lost their shirt. They went underwater and he had to unfortunately, Mr. Fox had to unfortunately sell off some land. So he, he sold off quite a bit of land, about 176 acres to a developer. That developer bought the land and created what we see here today. I mean, it was a very well thought out city, a very modern city, a very luxurious city. They wanted to cater to the film industry, to professionals, to corporations, and they certainly did that. As you can see behind me, they had this gorgeous Plaza Hotel, which is now the Fairmont, but the Plaza Hotel hosted presidents, dignitaries, movie stars, people from all over the world. And on this side of me is a uh, part of the Plaza, Century Plaza area. It houses CAA, which is one of the top talent agencies here in Los Angeles. The, the center of that area is stunning. I mean, this city is just so well thought out. If you wanna be in a central area, you're a young professional and you're okay with the price tag of living in a, you know, kind of high-end area, this might be the place for you. I'm on Fairburn Avenue. Uh, this is a street that I used to live on and I absolutely loved it. It's so central. You're right in the middle of LA. You have Westwood right there. Beverly Hills is, is a quick hop and a jump right up the road. Uh, you're close to Santa Monica. You jump on the, the 10 freeway and, and off you go towards Santa Monica. This is a great area. This would be, I guess, Century City adjacent. We're about two blocks west of Century City proper, but uh, I still consider it Century City. Uh, very uh, cute little neighborhood, uh, quiet streets. The streets are pretty narrow, so not a lot of traffic coming through here or using this as a thoroughway. Just well maintained, a lot of pride and ownership in this area. Lots of single family residences, modern architecture, and then old school California bungalow, and the beautiful 
old growth tree lined streets behind me. I highly recommend it for people who are looking for a spot in Los Angeles if they want a, a real neighborhood feel with, you know, where you know your neighbors, it's quiet. Um, sort of idyllic American life, really. I loved coming home from the bustle of LA, being in West Hollywood and Hollywood and Santa Monica, and then coming home to this quiet, quieter neighborhood. Um, I loved the neighbors I met here, and um, it was just such a great jumping off point to get to the rest of Los Angeles, so. A lot of developers came in and built massive buildings um, for the, the actors and the filmmakers that were living in this area as well as the professionals. And today you'll see a lot of professionals living in this area and polished urbanites, people who like to live in the city, work in the city and um, enjoy sort of an upscale lifestyle. I love the entrance of this one. This is beautiful. Uh, Chateau Century, quite lovely little waterfall and nice little awning and beautiful beautiful building I used to live in this building behind me it's um, it's an old apartment building and I lived on the top floor and I had a view of the Century City skyline which was stunning so I could see Nakatomi uh, building from Die Hard um, I could see all the skyscrapers in Century City uh, from my window which was beautiful, beautiful view facing east at the end of the day that that uh, sunset light was just stunning. So it was just such a cool place to be and have sort of a jumping off point as I made my way through Los Angeles. There aren't a ton of negatives to living in this area, but like anything, there's pros and cons. The biggest con in this area is the cost per square foot for real estate if you do want to buy. It's quite high, much higher than most of Los Angeles. And so that makes it very challenging in this time where interest rates are a little bit higher to, to get into this market. You really do need to come in with cash or else you're gonna have astronomical mortgages. Unfortunately, that's California and LA in general. One of the negatives of living in Los Angeles and especially in areas like this is the parking, the street parking. Be aware, parking tickets, paying for parking tickets is such a waste of money. I used to hate getting parking tickets. The signs are a little confusing sometimes. Start at the top and work your way down. Um, and somewhere in there you'll find if you are supposed to park in that spot at that time. Another little hack for parking is if there are no cars parked on your side of the street, then you probably are not supposed to park there. All right, so let's head over to the mall. Let's go check that out. Negative of Century City, getting a parking spot in the Westfield Mall on a Saturday at three o'clock. It's impossible. Every parking spot has a sensor, so they literally can tell you exactly how many cars are there and which way to go. Um, listen to that, I did not listen to that, so now I'm just roaming around a parking lot listening to people get angry and uh, I'm getting angry. One thing about living here is you gotta keep your cool in traffic and around cars because it is crazy. See, is this a spot? It's a clean air spot. I'm a clean air person. Yes. Okay. I'm a clean air, I'm a clean air driver. So I'm gonna take this spot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, make sure you have your access only sticker if you park in these spots. Do not park here if you are not clean access. One of the gems of Century City is the Century City Mall, the Westfield Mall, which is here where I am right now. And it is one of the center points of the city. It is definitely the jewel of the city. Um, they did a billion dollar renovation in 2017. So that absolutely shows. The things that you can do here are top-notch, world-class shopping.
Well, this is a new find. Italy? What the what? This wasn't here when I lived here. This is like all Italian food imports, fresh pasta, hand stretched mozzarella, all kinds of amazing wines, spices, desserts. It's unbelievable. You gotta check this place out. I know there's a lot of renters that are watching this channel too as they're trying to find their way to Los Angeles, setting up shop and, you know, finding their neighborhood so that they can eventually buy. If you do like this Century City area, I would look at Beverly Glen as a spot to rent. There are a ton of places for lease in this area, big apartment buildings um, with lots of units. So. It's a great, it's a great central location on Beverly Glen. Yes, it's a busy street. You can see um, there are a lot of cars coming through here, but the buildings are, you know, the streets wide, the buildings are off the street. I've had friends that lived on Beverly Glen. They loved it. And if it's something that's, you know, going to be for a year, I think this would be a great place to set up your residence and kind of use it as a jumping off point for if you want to buy in this area or Westwood or on the west side. For all you golfers out there, I absolutely love this Rancho Park 9 hole. It's fantastic. It really is. It's 10 bucks. Um, I guess during the pandemic, people discovered golf. So Roger here at the front desk says uh, it's much busier, especially on the weekend. Make sure you call and get a tea time. But it's just so fun. You're, by the way, you're hitting off the mats, so keep that in mind. But uh, a great place to hang out and uh, be. Also, there's an 18 hole course here at Rancho Park. So if you are, if you do take yourself more seriously as a golfer, there is an 18 hole and also driving range. The school district. The school district in this area in Century City is LA Unified, Los Angeles Unified School District. And there are some magnet schools that are quite good in this area, so look those up. Niche.com is a great resource if you are wondering about the schools. One of my favorite places to eat in this area that I used to walk to from Fairburn is called Clementine. So Clementine has been here forever. It's been here since I've been in the industry, which is over 20 years. And it is a great little spot that is sort of unknown. And they have incredible food, tasty food, and food that makes you feel good. It's healthy. So we're gonna go in and have a look and maybe grab a bite to eat, just for old time's sake. Behind this little red door is one of the best places to eat in LA. It's called Carmine's. It's been here since the 50s. The Rat Pack used to hang out here. That's Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, uh, Sammy Davis Jr. And uh, inside you will see beautiful, secluded, intimate booths. You'll have great cocktails, some of the best Italian food in Los Angeles. And we are in a bustling city, my friends. Check it out. Always, uh, always an adventure. Stay safe. That is a wrap on Century City. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go out there and live your best life.